Hi, I'm Gary, and this here is... Anxiety. <laughs> Anxiety, come on. Hi, I'm Gary, and this is... Claire. Claire! And I'm going to infuse from my brain to her brain the ability to design a website. Now, my buddy Kevin Powell recently did a similar video teaching HTML and CSS to his 11-year-old son, so I thought I'd give it a shot with my 10-year-old daughter. All right, so here we are. She's trying her best not to laugh, um, but eventually, hopefully, that fades away. Here we are in Figma, all right, and this big white square right here is basically, you can think of this as a computer screen uh, because we're going to be designing for desktop, not mobile, like on your smartphone that you're on too frequently. And what we're going to design is the hero section as it's called. And it's typically the most frequent thing you see. It's the first part of a website. And typically we're gonna have a headline. Now a headline is, stop smiling, be serious about this. A headline is basically a few words that have something to do with the business. It's gonna be catchy. Uh, it's gonna emphasize benefits over features. All right, so we're gonna pretend this is, um, a website for a yoga. You know what yoga is, right? Yeah. Okay. You are good. You're a dancer. Um, and so we're going to, I'm going to say something like, and by the way, people, I'm doing this off the cuff. I didn't have anything pre designed, uh, prepared beforehand. So we're going to say, um, get, uh, yoga made, made way too simple. Okay. Okay. So, what the what is the problem with this all right the first thing that we want is we want our headline to be large all right so when i say large we're going to take this uh over here this is the property inspector and this tells us the different font that we have the font weight all this crazy stuff but really all you have to worry about is the font size which is where that little 12 is that's way too small we're going to bump this up to like 80 not 12 but 80 all right so we're going to push this in and maybe something like right there. Maybe 80 is a little bit too large, so we're gonna try 70, all right? And we're gonna make it bold as well. Yoga, made way too simple, all right? <laughs> so stupid. All right, so um, at this point, we have our headline. It's looking pretty solid to me. We were gonna have a sub headline, and it's gonna be in this section, typically right underneath it. This is where you find it most often. So we're gonna duplicate that. And that is control D, don't worry, I'll help you remember that when the time comes. And we're gonna give this a size of maybe like 32. All right, and then maybe not bold, let's we'll make it regular. All right, and what we wanna do here is elaborate a little bit more and describe what, what's happening. Uh, is, I uh, have you found yoga? No, if you found yoga too difficult, you've come to the right place. There we go. Um, I'd still say that's a little bit too large. And what we're trying to establish here is what's called visual hierarchy, all right? Big word, it probably makes you scared. You might have nightmares at night thinking about this word, but it's actually very simple. Think of it this way, visual hierarchy, if we have this and we just take that type that we just did, like if you've found yoga too difficult, you've, ooh. Difficult, all right, come to the right place. If we left it like this, it's kind of strange. It's styled exactly the same, right? Both pieces of type look the same. We don't want that because one's more important than the other. And so the way we do this and we establish it is what's called visual hierarchy, all right? We make it a lot smaller and we make them look a lot different from each other, all right? And that way we prioritize or we, we emphasize the importance of this. This is what people are gonna read first, right? Okay, good. Now, after we have that, we're also gonna wanna put in a call to action. And it simply means a button, like right here. Sometimes you have two buttons. We're just gonna have one to keep things dead simple. So let's go ahead and put in our button type. So you could typically have a button type like text that says, uh, in this case, we could put learn yoga now. All right. Uh, and then we're gonna put a button container around it, which is a rectangle, that little tool right up there. All right, so we simply wrap it and then we put it underneath with a little keyboard arrow shortcut 
and we wanna make sure it's centered. So we take both of these elements and I'm up here, auto layout, we hit plus, and then we center it in the middle in that section right there. That way we can move it around like this. It's always gonna stay in the center. All right, so we don't have a primary color yet. We have this gray, but we wanna make sure that um, any color we use, we have good contrast on the type, meaning we wanna be able to still read the type easily. So if we chose something like this, that's hard to read, right? All right, that lacks contrast. So if we're gonna have black text, we need to use a color uh, where we can really see that, that type, but we can also see the color as well. What do you think about this one? Don't look at me, what do you no, think? Is that know. easy to read? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, we're probably pretty good then. So we can make this bold, because we want people to really be able to see this type. And then we could do something cool, like we can add rounded corners up here. We can just drag this little button, see how the corners go like this. That's called a pill shape. Uh, we don't, you could do that if you want. A lot of this is subjective, meaning it's up to you. It's, it's like your personal preference. And there we go. That's typically what you're gonna find in a very most basic hero section for your type column on the left. All right. Um, typically, you also have in this column an illustration that has something to do with, in this case, yoga. So I have this free yoga kit over here that I found on the Figma community. And so um, <laughs> let's choose this one. It's literally showing like a cat butthole or something. So let's go ahead and paste that in. And then we're gonna make this large. So scale is a very, very important thing. Wouldn't it be weird just to leave that right there? That doesn't seem, it seems like it needs to be bigger. So we're gonna increase the size of that sucker right around there. Maybe we'll push this over a little bit. All right, you don't want it too close. You don't want it up here. You don't want it down here. You want things to be balanced, all right? So that's a real important part of UI design. You wanna find balance, just like you wanna find balance, I would presume, in yoga. I've never done it, but you wanna be balanced. All right, so we could leave this color, kind of weird pink and green together. Um, if we select this color right here, we could grab this color right here with this color selector, and now they kind of match up. You know, maybe we could make it a little bit lighter. I think that looks pretty good. So this here is basically a very simple hero section. Now it's gonna be your turn to do your own little hero section. Now I'm gonna provide you with the type and an illustration and for a completely different purpose. We're not gonna do yoga here. Are you ready? Yeah, I Okay, don't be shy. She's never shy, unreal. All right, we're ready to rock. Uh, this is our little fictional area. As you can see, the type is all just the same. It lacks visual hierarchy right now. So you're gonna be responsible for that. And you're gonna drag it over to this screen right here, this artboard or this layout as they call it. And you're gonna start trying to put together the hero section layout based on what I just taught you. All right, you ready? No. All right. Think about where you wanna put it. Think about yeah, white I'm space. Not doing that, yeah. You're not, okay, you're just what? You're just doing whatever you want. Okay, go ahead. Where's that thing? Oh, here it is. Okay, you're gonna make it bold. That's nice, all right, there we go. All right, so she's changing the font size. <laughs> I have to do a play-by-play -play call, come on. Six. Let's just do 70. She's gonna do 70. Yeah. All right. Now how do you submit that? Just hit enter. Oh yeah. Okay, that's that's big and beefy. Okay. All right, one thing you wanna pay attention to is white space. So <clears throat> think about how close to the edge you want things to be, which this is not too bad, it's not too close. All right, well, just keep on going and I'll be quiet. So that looks pretty good to me. So let's do the next part, which is the uh, the sub headline as it's called. Now I decided to speed this part up because there's a lot of boring tinkering around. My goal for her is to simply recreate what I showed her initially. And while she got a lot of stuff right, she did end up with some small issues. A secondary call to action as it's called should be pretty close to the first one. So 
Absolutely. Maybe move it, move it over. Move it over more. Yeah, you want it to be aligned with that type. So we move it up. There you go, let go. That's, that's a, a, a pretty solid area for that to go. Now, one thing, we want more room for this illustration. We want it to be bigger. So take this type right here, yep, left click, drag the side of that in. And you can do it from you can do it from right here in the middle, by the way. What it makes it easier. Is? Just there you go. Go more. Right there is good. All right. Now take all this type. Start from up here. Left click, drag all the way down. All right, good. No, 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 not that. We don't want that. There we go. Let go. And then use your down key uh, arrow. There you go. Keep down. Go, go, go. No, hold it down. Um. Hold that sucker down. And we want it to be in the center. So move it down more? Because you had it up too high. Yeah, move it down more. You want equal white space. Stop. Yeah, right around there is pretty solid. Yeah. There. Yep. And then this one should be in line with that. Go ahead. Like there? Remember, look how much white space is on the left and compare that to the right. All right. What do you think? Do, what do you, does that look good? I think it looks fine. Okay, let, let's let's click out so people can see it. All right, all right. So this is what Claire basically did. All right, and this is actually very similar to to what we did. And I had to help you a few times, but I we could do a lot more with this. Like for instance, we can make this large and like set it off to the side. That looks pretty cool. I think that looks even better. But yeah, this is what you came up with, and I think you did a pretty decent job. I'd probably give you a C, a C minus uh, for that work, but nonetheless, yeah, I think it's solid. Awesome.